Hello guys and welcome to today's airsofting video. My name is Max and what we're going to be doing is another Glock video. So in this video, um, what we're going to do is actually a magazine comparison test to what fits into the pistol right here. The Wii G26 semi slash full auto edition. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be testing eight different magazines that I have from all my other Glocks. And what we're going to do is we're going to be doing a test fit to see what magazines are or are not compatible with the G26. So as you can see, we have everything labeled here with the name, with the brand, and what model it came from. So um, as we go mag by mag, I'm going to announce exactly which mag is being used. And what we're going to end up doing is I'm going to just do a test fire of each magazine couple BBs just to make sure it cycles and that's kind of how we will uh, myth bust this particular um, I guess compatibility test so we're gonna go ahead and get right into it so I hope you guys do enjoy this video alrighty so to start um, just to kind of give you some uh, groundwork on how we're gonna be doing this so again I have my uh, WeTech G26 we're going to be testing it in just the semi-automatic um, selecting switch. So obviously if we can fire it in semi, we can fire it in full. So this will kind of answer the question um, whether it can do full auto or not. So what we're going to do, of course, we're going to try the OEM magazine that comes with the G26. So as you can see, again, it's a very small baby magazine. Um, again, I have five shots. I'm basically going to be doing five shots of all of these. However, there are two exceptions I'd like to note. Um, just because for obvious reasons I think this will not work. This magazine I didn't bother to load, but we'll still test fit it. And of course, same with this. Probably silly to even include this, but I figure I would just do it anyway. So right now we're going to just test fire to make sure everything works. Again, I'm going to just run five shots through. We're going to be able to test this off now to make sure that it does fire. So um, I'm going to just tilt my camera up a little bit. Um, I use this little glove as an actual BB catch just to kind of test things. So that's literally what's going to end up happening here is I am going to go ahead and just test fire into the glove itself. So again, the whole point is to try to cycle through all five BBs without anything jamming or stopping. So um, I'll do them pretty close um, and quick. So I look at this as a successful um, run. I cycled through five BBs and the slide actually locked back. So that's what I'm going to be looking for when I test the rest of these magazines. So um, that was essentially test one, just dry, um, just doing a quick dry run of the OEM magazine, cycled all five BBs, so onward to the next one. So next magazine up in line I have, it's a WeTech uh, branded magazine. This magazine came from the G23 slash G19. So this is compatible with both Glocks. So here's the magazine. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see me fit the magazine into the, into the Glock itself. So here's essentially what it'll look like. There is going to be some overhang. Probably not a bad thing for those of you that have bigger hands. Allows your pinky to rest on something. So now we'll go and we're going to go ahead and test fire this. So I am going to angle the camera now into my little punching bag thing. Again, we're going to make sure that everything cycles, locks back, and fires. So that's what we're going to be testing. Perfect. So that is another successful test. The Wii G23 and G19 magazines will fit and fire in the G26. So the next magazine we have is the Wii G35 slash G17 slash G18C and I, even G34 magazine. So um, this one is pretty much standard for a majority of the Wii Glocks. So I'll go ahead and take that one. We're going to do a test fit on this. Again, it fits in there perfect. There's actually a little more overhang this time um, because this basically is the full-sized magazine that the Glock 17, 18, 34, and 35 use. So again, some overhang there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and angle it at my little glove over there for the target. I apologize, the trifle, uh, tripod is not the greatest. 
So now again, we'll make sure that we're able to rack the slide. Okay, so far so good. Now we'll test fire. Okay, immediately what I notice is, it, first of all, it functions great. This magazine will work no problem. I am noticing the bigger the magazines get, the harder this Glock kicks. So you may notice that if you're literally testing it out like I am. So um, this is starting to kick a little harder because of the, of the magazine size. All right, magazine number three, a WeTech magazine again, extended magazine. This one should essentially be compatible for all, um, but we are gonna test this. Um, as odd as this gonna look, now you get extreme overhang with probably, I don't even know, that's like six inches of overhang from the bottom of the magazine or the bottom of the pistol. So again, we'll test this out now. I'll angle it towards my punching, uh, punching glove target and we will test fire. Okay, sorry, this thing appears to be low on gas. Let me refill it. Okay, let's try that again. So perfect, it locked back successfully. Everything worked as it was supposed to. The kick intensified even more with this extended mag. Now, I will explain why that is. As there is larger gas reservoirs um, with these magazines, it's basically spelling out more gas and causing the slide to kick back more. Keep in mind, this Glock 26 is already small enough as is, so the smaller the Glock, the more the kick because it's a shorter travel essentially. So you'll feel it pep a little bit more than, um, than it would with its standard magazine. All right, next one up on the row, um, Elite Force Glock 17 magazine. This is one that I've been getting a lot of uh, requests on to see how well and does this actually cycle in a Wii Tech pistol. So I'm gonna go ahead and test it out. Okay, it locks in, I'm pulling it, it's in there pretty good. Um, I actually do like that little extension. It looks pretty nice like that. Okay, it cycled smooth just like the OEM. So now let's go ahead and test fire. Ooh, that is a, that is a fail number one. Unless, oh my gosh, I didn't put gas in it. All right, I apologize for that. Um, some of these don't have gas for some reason. I thought I loaded them all, but anyway. So I have a BB chambered. Let's try that one more time. Beautiful, it worked perfectly. No um, hiccups, everything fired smoothly, locked back. Um, again, the magazine comes out with ease. Um, just FYI, these magazines should work fine for WeTech. So if you wanted to buy Elite Force Glocks, um, or I'm sorry, if you wanted to buy WeTech uh, model Glocks and get Elite Force magazines, they will work just fine. All right, so we've had success on the bottom row of magazines. Now the top row. So I have another Wii G17 magazine here. Now the reason why I have another G17 mag, um, again, we used one earlier. This is a more of a newer gen. This one is actually super duper old. Um, this has, um, first of all, a different coating of paint on it. It's a lot more glossier. And this is a lot, a lot older. This is probably now like close to six, maybe even almost seven years old. This one's from my very first um, generation Glocks. So we'll test it out. We'll see if it works. Um, that's why I kind of have it included in this um, Mythbusters challenge thing that I'm doing here. So locks in just fine. It is a WeTech, just FYI. So let's go ahead and I'll test them out in my little target glove thing over here. Perfect. So again, successful with locking back and firing all five shots. Um, slide catch works beautifully. Um, this is definitely a pass. So even if you have six, seven, eight year old magazines or older, if they're WeTech, they will fit and work and cycle through the G26 just fine.
All right, these two might be a little humorous for you guys, but I figure I'll just try it anyway. Um, I obviously will start with, this is a VFC G42 Glock magazine. Now, I already know this isn't gonna work because this is a lot shorter than the actual, well, actually not a lot shorter. It is a little bit shorter um, than the OEM G26 magazine. So. But now when it comes to thickness, it's a whole nother world because this is a lot sleeker and slimmer than this chunky OEM magazine. So again, here's the back ends for reference. It's a huge thickness difference. Um, I'll try to see if I can somehow put this into the pistol and have it locked back. I have my doubts that it'll work. I mean, you can see there's just extreme play in there. Um, but maybe, as stupid as it sounds, it might lock in there somewhere. No, it is not. So I won't waste your guys' time too much. The VFC Glock 42 mag will not work. That is one that is not going to work. I'm just going to do it right now in this segment as well. Double barrel, single gun, impossible. So not going to work. That is a fail. So nothing really exciting there. I think the more fun fact here is this thing weighs as much as the pistol. That's a fun fact for you right there. So next, last but not least, we'll get into, this is the KP-17 magazine, which is basically a G-17 magazine by KJW though. So again, we got a whole different manufacturer here. Um, you can see it's a matte finish when it comes to the paint job on this. I have my five BBs in here. And we'll go ahead and test fit this right now. Okay, it's in there pretty good. It's not coming out. Cycles pretty good. Let's go ahead and steer it on over to the target. Let's test it out to make sure it cycles. Okay, um, I'm hoping it's not another situation where there's no gas. Oh no, this actually has a ton of gas. I think we might have one that did fail here. Um, let's see if it chambered anything. So it definitely did chamber a BB. Not sure if you can really tell. But let me try to do, let me try to chamber one more so then the BB is going to come out. Probably not a good idea. Don't do it like that. Um, let's try one more time. Interesting. So it didn't fire the first time and I don't know why. You guys saw that. Um, let's try one more time. Okay. So that was bizarre. I'm just going to kind of count that as maybe... A, I'll give it like an intermediate pass because um, the first shot technically did fail. It did not um, work as it was intended to. I'm wondering though, let me reset the hammer and let me try to rack the slide and let me see if it'll do the same thing. Nope, it seemed to work. I guess maybe it was just a fluke that that first shot didn't work. I would probably give this one a pass because it did work. We did test it, let me dry fire running out of gas but I'm noticing in some areas it is catching where it's not going back as smoothly as you want it to so you can see it's kind of getting stuck you know what this might be like a 50 50 um, I guess it's just use of use with caution is what I can say for for this magazine Alrighty guys, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, it was definitely a fun little experiment to test magazine compatibility with the WeTech G26. So I would give the following passes to, first of all, every magazine on this bottom row is going to work just fine. Um, going to the top row, the old school G17 mag here will work perfectly. The ones that will not work, G42 by VFC and the double barrel G18C magazine for obvious reasons. Now this one's kind of in the middle. This was the KP17 KJW magazine. This one, I would give it like a maybe, I would give it like a half and half. To me, half of it failed, half of it passed. So for obvious reasons, um, the smoothness and cycling, the random dead shot that didn't fire anything in the beginning, um, was the fail part. Everything else, of course, firing the rest of the four BBs was a pass. So that one, 
is uh, use, use with caution if you're trying to substitute G, G magazines for KJW magazines. So just again, word of advice there. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if this is something entertaining. If you did enjoy this type of experiment that I did here, I will definitely test it out with other guns as well. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks again for watching.